Baby, this is it. Some dirty ass Uggs. Mm -hmm. My hair not done. Mm -hmm. My nails not done. I'm not getting cute. I'm not getting pretty. I'm not doing this for y'all no more. I'm not doing this for y'all no more. I'm not doing this for y'all no more. This Henny got me feeling crazy. Crazy. My 2024 New Year's resolution is to be selfish. Do you know something? You disgust me. I know what people like you get up to and I think it's disgusting. So I just want to start thinking more about, okay, but what do I need from this? What do I need in this moment? What do I want out of this? What do I want out of this? What do I want out of this? No! What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another video here. This is Rat Boy coming in from the side and we have a few uh videos we're gonna take a look at today. One of them is a very a little short one we're gonna take a peek at here in the beginning, and the next one is kinda long. Uh I wasn't able to watch all the way through it, but we will watch through it together and figure out exactly what this individual needs from dating. So Take a deep, deep breath and uh, try to um, mentally prepare myself for this. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the videos again. This is Rat Boy. Thank you for joining me. I need y'all to understand this. This is the message all 2024. <laughs> Yeah, so the mister wanted me to come and meet him real quick. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm like, so not a date. All right, we can meet at the casino. Baby, this is it. Some dirty ass Uggs. Mm -hmm. My hair not done. Mm -hmm. My nails not done. I'm not getting cute. I'm not getting pretty. I'm not doing this for y'all no more. Y'all don't want to pay for a date. I'm not wasting my NARS makeup. I pay too much money to be cute for you to want to just not... No date, no cuteness. This is... That's it. I'm going to pause it right there and... um. Oh. We get back to Baby. where we were at. Um, So this is um very interesting because she doesn't want to, you know, get dressed up for a date. And obviously this isn't a date. So that's perfectly fine. But, uh, you know, she is well into her, uh, she's well up there into age and I'm really not good at guessing age, but I would guess that she is definitely well up in age and she's dating as, uh, you know, someone in that age group. And so, yeah, the expectations are pretty low, you know, no guy is going to want to meet up with you, uh, and expect that you are completely, uh, made up head to toe you know um he probably just wanted to meet for like a, a drink or something so you know dress however you want i, I don't think the guy's gonna care very few dudes care about stuff like this uh and i mean if he did care then he probably wouldn't want to date you you know so um we're gonna continue this video here and um I think they actually show what she looks like when she does her nails and stuff, which is fine. You know, that's perfectly fine. But it's videos like this that, uh, like, dudes really don't care, you know. And then we have the, the other woman here, and she's, like, pointing and saying, oh, yeah, this is how it's going to be. Okay, sure, that's perfect. Do it. But um, also make sure that if you're online dating, you uh, – post this photo on there as well make sure you have this photo like the one i have on the screen have that as your profile picture you know because you know you're not doing it anymore so you know why not put yourself out there that's it how you doing <laughs> Am I by myself with this or what? No, babe, you are not alone. And before any of you try it in the comments, let me just show you this. Okay, this is our good sis on her worst day, okay? Okay. So, I mean, yeah. Well, who cares? Like, who literally cares? 
you know like it's really not that important when you're when you're this age and you're still dating and stuff i mean the, the expectations are very low when it comes to women dudes really don't care it is the uh it's the women who want the six figures they want the six foot four they they have all of these expectations for the men men really don't have a whole lot of expectations you know it's just it's it's not gonna happen the way you think it's gonna happen is, is what i'm saying like men don't care but uh let's continue so she telling y'all right now you're not getting all of this just to meet up Nobody you need to take it. her out on a nice date no, okay and you'll not. get this no, all right you. don't you let that it. video fool you uh, all right really she care. was not feeling that man it doesn't matter. this is our good sis no, and we cares. ride in solidarity no, i guess Hi. okay this is the long one um i could not I'm, I'm gonna try to power through this one i'm gonna be honest with you but uh i might i might skip around a little bit there's a lot of rambling that happens in this video um this individual cannot get to the point but uh, we will we'll power through it, fellas. Let's get it started. My 2024 New Year's resolution is to be selfish. <clears throat> Hear me out with this. I, I'm a woman, I'm an eldest daughter, and I'm a middle child. Nobody so cares. I am like a people pleasing, keep the peace, no, you're not. put everyone else's needs ahead of my own machine. I and odds it. are, if you're even one of those things, You've probably got some of these tendencies too. Or if you're a mom, like we all know what happens when you become a mom, your kids become your everything and you put their needs first, sometimes to the detriment of your own I mean, mental health. Okay. Look, if you're a parent, you should be putting your kids first. I have a firm belief that if you are a single mother, you should not be out there dating. You shouldn't, you should be taking care of your kids, taking care of your home. And then, uh, you know, once the kid has grown up, is out of the house, then you can take time for yourself and try to see what's left out there for you. Maybe some scragglers are, are back there for you. But right now, you're not dating. Like, take care of your kids. Take care of your family. Worry about your family. Worry about your kids. Don't worry about hooking up. It just, you're, no, no kid should be subjected to having their mom go through that. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your kids, please. Insanity. So I was reflecting on 2023 before I went into therapy a few weeks back, and I ran this past my therapist, and she laughed and approved of the, the intent of the goal. And I say that I want to be selfish because I know that I can never really be that way. It's just not who I am, and it's not something I'm capable of. You know, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a woman over the age of 25 and you're still single, and you've been on dates and dates and dates and dates and you just can't find the right guy, you're being way too selfish. You are literally throwing away good dudes or you are actively searching out the chads that only want you for the nighttime hours and you enjoy that. So, yeah, you've kind of been selfish this whole time, but go off, I guess. But I want to shoot for it in the hopes that I... I kind of balance out in the middle, right? Which is just putting my needs more at the forefront. I am never going to be able to just go around and do whatever I want oh with God. disregard for other people's feelings or how it impacts We're them. Not it's just not through. who I am. So I just want to start thinking more about, okay, but what do I need from this? What do I need in this moment? What do I want out of this? You've said and making that decisions that that elevate those needs and wants and that make them just as much of a priority. As so if you're dating, are you going to be thinking about what the guy wants or, Oh no, it's just about you. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's continue. As people pleasing, at least I'm already thinking through some ways we can practice this. If you want to adopt the resolution with me, um, one way could be not going to plans that you don't want to go to, right? I'm not saying flake out on people at the last minute and be rude. I'm just saying like if a friend invites you to a concert and you really don't want to, you don't care to go to that concert, don't go to it. You can Who does this? Who doesn't go to places they don't want to go to? This has to be just a, um, like a, a woman thing, I guess. But like if I don't want to go somewhere, I'm not going to go. I'll just tell you no. But, you know, some people, they just can't tell people no. 
and then you had they make four minute videos about how they're gonna start start telling people no. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like this is becoming an issue right now. I always see your friend later for dinner or something like that. This is dumb and probably more of a me thing, but I've been thinking about getting a dog for a few years and realizing the weight of the responsibility of that. And for a long time, I was like, you know, oh I think I'll wait God. to get a dog until I meet a partner and we get really serious and then we move in together and then we get the dog together and it's the the checkpoints of life or whatever. Yeah, and then you're going to break up and then you're going to fight over the dog. Women love to do stuff like this. They love to get like these uh, leverages while in a relationship with someone and then that way they can always hold it over uh, the other person's head. I would suggest never getting in a relationship and getting anything like that. It's just not worth it. A lot of single moms do this with kids. It's like the ultimate leverage for the dad. You know, they just, uh, oh, you know, you don't pay child support. Now I'm going to I have this leverage on you. It's so uh, it's very manipulative and controlling. And she's already thinking about doing that. It's kind of uh, kind of crazy. And then I was like, you know what? No, I, if that happens, I can get another dog then. So this year I am adopting a dog for me because I want one. I think it'll be great emotional support for me. And I'm really, that really excited dog. about it. Um, and it's just Leave for the me. Dogs or if there's a trip Come you really on. want to go on and you've been putting it off for some reason, like go on the trip, right? Or just even for me, a big part of this is communicating okay i'm gonna have to wants a... there was something later on in this video i just wanted to hear again you need so to learn more about us and how to be a better to be, partner uh, to I us think it's down and somewhere. when i say you can join me in this resolution to be a little more selfish i'm really talking to the ladies men of course you are i think men, you already do a selfish. pretty good job of this yeah, i men, think if anything you could maybe do the reverse and oh, think how do my actions go. decisions etc how can i those have, around how can me? men that would be a great resolution a little decisions. more self-awareness <laughs> side note i was gifted some sage a few months ago so i think oh, the last no. day of the year is the perfect day to go around and smudge Please my apartment gifting, sage. i've never Everybody done this do before this. so i'm going to do By some way, research on like native american origins of this practice so i can be sage. as respectful as possible you know while what? i do don't this give but anything. <laughs> i want to get that right. negative do energy it. out and just clean the space out for no. for a new year Okay, fellas, that, that is, there's something May else. May we defend what we need. No, okay, this video, okay, I just wanted to hear that last part. I'm going to be completely honest. These um, individuals are delirious. Um, they have no idea what they're doing, no idea what they're talking about half the time. They've been selfish this whole time, and now uh, with TikTok, it's just more uh, validation through these videos they make. But let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, give me a like. If you don't like it, dislike it too. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. This is uh, getting kind of crazy. And I will see y'all on the next video. Later.